Hi, I'm going to show you how to program the Lego Segway. I chose this particular model from the web. It's a very popular one. I'm going to put the link for the building instructions in the description of this video. Mm, the only thing that I changed is that I added a counterweight here. I just used an old battery I found because uh, through experimentation I found that this model tends to fall quicker to its back than to its front. I think that it is because of this tall structure that exerts a greater torque in the whole device uh, to the back. Uh, that's why I added uh, this counterweight. And well, the purpose of the Lego Segway is the purpose of an inverted pendulum. Uh, so it has to keep its balance by moving front and back because by its own it's very difficult to to stay in in a still position. I'm going to show you how to program this in LabVIEW and there's also a link that where you can see the overall result of my programming. Now that you have seen the LEGO Segway in action, I'm going to explain the overall function of my program. I did the program in LabVIEW using the LEGO NXT Toolkit. You can go to the Toolkit, making right click in your front panel, going to NXT Robotics and here you can find all the programming blocks you can use to program your LEGO. And well this is my front panel, here I have my control law variables the proportional, the integral and the derivative term uh, these are the gains you can see they are just gains in my control law formula and these gains are going to determine how fast I am going to move the Lego Segway motors forward or backward right? Uh, here I have the variables that show me my sensors and actuators values my sensor is the light sensor and this light sensor is going to, to tell me according to to the light uh, how unbalanced my LEGO Segway is uh, and if it is uh, leaning backwards or leaning forward uh, these are my actuator values uh, this is the value I'm going to give as an input to my LEGO to, to tell him how fast to move in forward or backwards and this course value is the same as this one and but as the name implies it limits this number uh, to a range the range of values that the lego accept for to move the motors are between 100 and minus 100 then i'm going to to go to my block diagram you can press ctrl e this is the program well here I just made a countdown so uh, this countdown lasts 5 seconds uh, every every second the Lego Segway is going to make a beep so you can you can know uh, how the countdown goes and during this countdown your job is to to put the Lego Segway into a position that is closer to the balance position uh, in this way, when when this countdown finishes, the light sensor is going to take the measurement in what is supposed to be the balance position of the Lego Segway. This set point is going to be your reference value. So the next uh, values the light sensor acquires uh, are going to be compared to this set point, and the difference between those values is the error you are going to use in your control law formula. According to how big this error is, uh, you are going to adjust the motor's power accordingly. Right? Here are the control law variables I told you, I showed you in the front panel. 
this lock and uh, gives you uh, the light value you are measuring in each loop you are measuring the, the light value and using this value and the set point that goes here you calculate the error integral and derivative terms in each block this is a proportional integral and derivative block then you are going to add all this up here then you are going to limit its value between 100 and minus 100 and this is going to be your motor's power how fast are they going to move in one direction or the other now how, how do you determine in which direction your motors are going to move you can just use uh, the sign and the sign of this the sign of, of your motor's power value using the sign uh, you're going to, s to move here in this case structure if, if the sign is positive if it, if it is greater than zero the motors move forward if, it, if they are less than zero the, the, the motors move backward right this block is just to take the absolute value uh, don't take into account this this block is just a multiplication by one I was just experimenting and well probably you are wondering uh, uh, why I put this case structure well this case structure is just in case I if the error is not zero I have to make a correction so I, I mean a correction if the error is zero I just stop the motors because the Lego segue is supposed to be in its balanced position and this is not going to happen often and maybe there are some other tricks or adjustments or tuning methods you can use in, in this point the error is zero uh, to to balance in a better way your lego segway but well, i did it this way and uh, so this is the main loop this is going to 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 end this loop you're going to enter this loop every time and how fast this loop uh, repeats itself it's going to determine your value, your differential in time the value here you can make just a test workbench as a, a program and with a counter to see how fast uh, the loop executes and to see uh, how how this term, the value of this term and how are you going to use it in, in each one of these blocks and now I'm going to explain um, each of these blocks, the proportional, internal, and derivative blocks.